A couple of weeks ago, I saw this TikTok that was talking about problem solving with students and using a storm drain and losing their most important items. And so I was trying to figure out a community figure that I felt did a lot of problem solving on a daily basis, and my thought was, a fireman. There's lots of different ways to solve problems and hopefully we just show them a way. You know, the biggest thing is not giving up and that's something that as firefighters we don't have the option to give up and hopefully that's something that we were able to instill in them today that there are difficulties in life but when we see them through and we're able to keep pushing through that's where the real rewards are on the other side. Before I can solve the problem I have to identify what the problem is. If I don't know what I'm trying to solve I can't do it. It's a skill that I think has to be honed in on. I don't think it just doesn't come naturally a lot of times and we don't um, allow children I think or even adults time to practice. We just expect that you know that skill and so I think that today was a perfect example of how to use teamwork and how to uh, work together to figure out and solve a problem. I learned not to give up and if you fail with your first choice then um, try again and fail Failure is not an option. I enjoy going to the school programs and you know, we teach uh, first graders how to stop, drop and roll and fire safety and I'm not as big a piece of that anymore and that was always one of my favorite times as a firefighter is getting to get out and interact with our kids. So sometimes when you're problem solving, I said earlier, it's a team sport, right? Sometimes I may ask, need to ask a buddy. I may need to ask my teacher, hey, can you help me with this? Help is not doing it for me though. What's your name? Parker and the keys. Nice. What's left? You gotta, you gotta have a boarding pass. You gotta have a cell phone. I believe that as a fire department, our goal needs to be out in the community, and there's no better place to be than talking to kids. Children are our future, and if we can help shape them and get them ready to, you know, solve tomorrow's problems, then that should be a part of our job as well.